الحمد لله رب العالمين الذي خلق السماوات والأرض والصلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين أما بعد قال الله تعالى بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نتلو عليك من نبأ موسى وفرعون بالحق لقوم يؤمنون صدق الله العظيم وصدق رسوله النبي الكريم ونحن على ذلك من الشاهدين والشاكرين والحمد لله رب العالمين Dear respected brothers, sisters, mothers, elders, and young friends, over the last few weeks and few khutbah, we try to explain in detail how Musa alayhi salatu was salam during his lifetime managed to free the Banu Israel from Ghul. Today, we will insha'Allah conclude on this theme and importantly draw the lesson we can learn from his life. To start with, why is the Quran filled with qisas, with stories from the previous nations, from the previous prophets, and people before us that came many, many centuries and thousands of years ago. Because it is through using stories and qisas that Allah Azza wa Jal conveyed to us life lessons in the Quran so that we may know right from wrong half from the other and so we can differentiate where the path of righteousness leads and so we can take heed of the path of the path of false, falsehood and Musa alayhi salatu wassalam story is the most frequently mentioned story in the Quran. Allah Azza wa Jal says, Natlu alayka min nabai Musa wa fir'awna bil haqqi ni qawmi yu'minun. We recite to you from the news of Musa. Allah Azza wa Jal is saying, we recite to you from the news of Musa and Fir'aun in truth for a people who believe. The Quran talk about the life of Musa alayhi salatu wassalam in great detail from his birth until his, his final days. His amazing life and story in its totality represents the struggle and the conflict between haq and batil, between vul, valim and maghloom, between oppressors and oppressed. This struggle is one that will last until the day of Qiyamah. And like every conflict, there is always an end. There is always an end. And that end is always in the favor of the party of Haq and Truth. In the favor of the party of Allah, Hezbollah. That end is always a defeat of battle, of falsehood, of ghulm and oppression. The Quran mentions many ghalim, many oppressors. But the worst of them 
والفرعون وين از هي نو وين از قارون وين از هامان وين از عاد ثمود وين از ابو جهل انا ابو لهب الله عز وجل سيس وقل جاء الحق وزهق الباطل ان الباطل كان زهوقا and say truth has come and falsehood has departed indeed is falsehood by nature ever bound to depart all those zalim and oppressors they were stripped of their powers humiliated after the takabbur their arrogance and their kingdoms and all their empires destroyed they are an example and a lesson for all the oppressors of this world who whose hope how deluded them into thinking themselves to be immortal to be eternal moreover they are a lesson to us the believers the mu'min that regardless of the power of the influence of the oppression and tyranny which is launched against us the help of allah is always near inna nasrallahi qareeb verily the help of allah is near the story of musa alayhi salatu wassalam is a perfect example of the precise plan of the divine plans of allah for his servant against all plots wa makaru wa makar allah wallahu khayrul makirin when the future appeared to be narrow and negative when the hope was lost by the majority of the people when the men were weakened and helpless then Allah's divine plan intervened and it will intervene to determine the outcome and the best outcome that he has planned the outcome that you and me could have never ever expected and forecasted the outcome we with our little knowledge and obscured vision could have never seen or thought about allah azza wa jal in the quran he even mentioned in detail the birth the birth of musa alayhi salatu wassalam you can think why so when musa alayhi salatu wassalam was born some critics could have easily said or some narrative could have been pushed but Musa alayhi salatu wassalam was born on the wrong year this is the year when Fir'aun decided to kill the male babies and he was aware that there will be a baby boy that will be, will be born from the Banu Israel who will ruin his kingdom and destroy it however Allah azza wa jal reassured his mother in the beautiful ayah in that ayah in one ayah Allah azza wa jal he issues two commands to his mother two prohibitions and two promises in one ayah subhanallah two commands two prohibitions and two promises وَأَوْحَيْنَا إِلَى مُوسَى أَنْ أَرْضِعِي فَإِذَا قِفْتِ عَلَيْهِ فَأَلْقِيهِ فِي الْيَمِّ وَلَا 
تخافي ولا تحزني إنا ردوا إليك وجاعلوه من المرسلين And we inspired to the mother of Musa feed him but when you fear for him put him in the river when you fear for him put him in the river and do not fear and do not grieve indeed we will return him to you and we will make him one of the messenger now a mother against her natural maternal instinct Peter she obeyed Allah's command with absolute yaqeen and conviction and trust and reliance on Allah despite Allah Azza wa Jal not commanding us with such drastic measures we continue to doubt Allah's wisdom and Allah's promises we place our worldly interests and benefit before Allah's pleasure not realizing that our interest is only in Allah's ta'ah and obedience so we neglect our salah assuming our time is being saved 15-20 minutes, half an hour and I will earn more or we neglect our fast assuming that we will be more productive at work or we neglect zakah and inheritance miraf thinking that our wealth will stay with us but we are being deceived by the false promise of shaitan that will lead to destruction that will lead our life into destruction and as well as the other now, tell me, what were the chances of a newborn baby surviving in a basket thrown around by the current of a flowing river? When Allah saved Musa والسلام, from drowning and then where did he land? Where was he washed up? Where did he reach? At the doorstep of the same oppressor who ordered his execution. Subhanallah. وَقَالَتِ الْمَرَاتُ فِرْعَوْنَ قُرَّةُ عَيْنٍ لِي وَلَكْ لَا تَقْتُلُوا عَسَى from him all 
our witnesses before. So the sister of Musa said to the house of Fir'aun, Shall I direct you to a household that will be responsible for him on your behalf while they will be sincere to him for his upbringing? فمن أحبهم فبحبي أحبهم 
ومن أبغضهم فببغضي أبغضهم وقريب القرون قرني ثم الذين يلونهم ثم الذين يلونهم اللهم إنا نعوذ برضاك من سخطك وبمعافاتك من عقوبتك ونعوذ بك منك لا نحصي ثناء عليك أنت كما أثنيت على نفسك اللهم اغفر لجميع موتى المسلمين الذين شهدوا لك بالوحدانية ولنبيك بالرسالة وماتوا على ذلك اللهم اغفر لهم وارحمهم وعافهم واعف عنهم واكرم نزلهم ووسع مدخلهم واغسلهم بالماء والثلج والبرد ونقهم من الخطايا كما نقيت الثوب الابيض من الدنس اللهم ات انفسنا تقواها وزكها انت خير من زكاها انت وليها ومولاها اللهم انا نعوذ بك من علم لا ينفع ومن قلب لا يخشع ومن نفس لا تشبع ومن دعوة لا يستجاب لها اللهم إنا نسألك صحة في إيمان وإيمانا في حسن خلق ونجاحا يتبعه فلاح ورحمة منك وعافية ومغفرة منك ورضوانا يا حي يا قيوم برحمتك نستغيث اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين واغفر اللهم لجميع المؤمنين والمؤمنات والمسلمين والمسلمات الأحياء منهم والأموات برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين والحمد لله رب العالمين أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغض يعظكم لعلكم تذكرون اذكروا الله يذكركم وادعوه يستجيب لكم ولا ذكر الله تعالى أعلى وأولى وأعز وأجل وأهم وأتم وأكبر والله يعلم ما تصنعون في